Hi guys, Fancy Nancy Drew here for your fairy book mother. Now I know it's not Friday and I know it's been probably a month since I posted a story, but the holidays were kind of crazy. Um, and now the reason for my book is because it's Martin Luther King Jr. Day and I just bought this book the other day and I just feel like it's real appropriate for uh, just everything that's been going on and just a nice thing to do on uh, this special day today. Now I need you to know too that I didn't really buy this book for, for me, my kids, um, because we just, we raised our children um, to love everybody, to treat everybody the same. Um, I guess you could say we raised anti-racist babies. We also have the um, the added uh, bonus, I guess, of being a, a well, I'm white, if we're going to use labels. My husband is black, therefore our children are biracial. So um, being racist just doesn't make sense to us. Um, it's not how we are and it's not how we've raised our children. So when I showed this book to my eldest daughter, she immediately told me about her friend and how he doesn't like books like this because, quite frankly, we shouldn't have to have books to teach people this. I agree. Absolutely. The problem is that um, not everybody is teaching their kids. And I, I've come to realize that sometimes people... Uh, there are people who are just flat out racist and then there are those who aren't and then there's also this group of people who think that they're not racist and they try real hard not to be but without even realizing what they're doing they make racial comments or they just say and do things um, that are promoting racism and Unfortunately, if there are children in the home, they are teaching their children the same thing. Again, maybe not on purpose. But so I thought this book would be great uh, for the parents because, first of all, there's a lot of things in this book that I'm not sure a kid will understand and it's not going to be a fun kid's story, although the pictures are great. Um, but I think parents really need to sit down and listen and um, and then there are a few questions at the end that I want to share with you and I encourage you to take some time and go over some of these questions with your children. Um, so here we go. Anti-Racist Baby. Anti-Racist Baby is bred, not born. Anti-Racist Baby is raised to make society transform. Babies are taught to be racist or anti-racist. There's no neutrality. Take these nine steps to make equity a reality. One, open your eyes to all skin colors. Anti-racist baby learns all the colors, not because race is true. If you claim to be colorblind, you deny what's right in front of you. Two, use your words to talk about race. No one will see racism if we only stay silent. If we don't name racism, it won't stop being so violent. Three, point at policies as the problem, not people. Some people get more, some get less, because policies don't always grant equal access. Four, shout. There's nothing wrong with the people. Even though all races are not treated the same, we're all human, anti-racist baby can proclaim. Five, celebrate all our differences. Anti-racist baby doesn't see certain groups as better or worse. Anti-racist baby loves a world that's truly diverse. Six. 
knock down the stack of cultural blocks. Anti-Racist Baby appreciates how groups speak, dance, and create as they choose. Anti-Racist Baby welcomes all groups voicing their unique views. Seven, confess when being racist. Nothing disrupts racism more than when we confess the racist ideas that we sometimes express. Eight, grow to be an anti-racist. Anti-racist baby is always learning, changing, and growing. Anti-racist baby stays curious about all people and isn't all-knowing. And nine, believe we shall overcome racism. Anti-racist baby is filled with the power to transcend, my friend, and doesn't judge a book by its cover, but reads until the end. Okay, so I hope that you learned some things from this little story, and I um, encourage you to ask these questions um, of your kids, maybe have a discussion with your spouse, your anybody that you think could benefit from this. Um, I mean, I think we all could learn a little bit about treating each other better. Okay, so first question, ask your child, when you imagine a farmer, a teacher, or an astronaut, what do they look like? Ask your child to describe the people in their friend group and yours. Help children understand that racist policies are the problem, not people. Challenge the idea that all people are treated the same. Share your own experiences with racism. And remember to talk to your kids about how people aren't just racist or anti-racist, but rather how their actions can be racist or anti-racist. So I think that it could be both. <laughs> um, but again, I, I said that while some people are, are outright racist and others aren't, I think there's a, a vast number of people who just don't realize that Again, they would tell you, well, I'm not racist, but they say and do things that are racist actions. Um, so we just want to bring that to an end. We want the one race to be the human race. So I encourage you to have these um, real honest conversations with your family and um, just love everybody. I hope that you're having a great Martin Luther King Jr. Day and that you learned, um, maybe you took some time to learn who he was, what he did, how he fought to make the world a better place. And uh, I just encourage you to find out what you can do to make a difference and just make this a happy planet that we all reside on together. Uh, remember, if you like this, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to do so. Thanks and have a fantabulous day.